Welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the new Skoda Fabia 2022 model and in this video we will make the full review. Interior, exterior, at the end of this video you will know everything about this new Fabia 2022 model. Also guys before we go forward just click the subscribe button to see all the new notification, all the new videos that will come on my channel. Also if you want to see the test drive with this new Fabia it will come soon on the channel so click the subscribe button to see the notification I will have a separate video with that now guys before we go forward I want to tell you that I'm right here in Switzerland at Amag Solo Turn so I will leave the link in the description if you want to see the car if you want to drive the car if you want to buy the car also by the way tell them you see my video you come from me and you will get a nice discount now let's go forward guys First of all, I want to tell you that I have with me the Fabia style. For those of you that doesn't know what its style mean, style mean that it's almost the top version. It's Monte Carlo and then the second one it's style. So this car it's almost full option. So that's something to keep in mind. Also, I will have a review with the basis model, the entry level model. It will come soon. So stay tuned guys, stay close. The starting price of the car is 25,920 francs also with all these extra options right here that i will show you in this video also you can pause the video to see it the final price will be 32,097 francs this is the final price i will add the price in dollars so you can make an idea in your country if you're not from switzerland the price may be less may be cheaper because in switzerland the price are also a little bit higher we will go in all over these options so i will explain you everything uh, about the car also the car weight 1339 kilograms the consumption 6.1 liter this is the medium consumption estimated medium consumption and 138 co2 grams also it's in uh, efficient class a and for more deep details about the car we will go right now on the technical data so the car come with one liter petrol engine three cylinders in line 110 horsepower 200 newton meters it's a front wheel drive and this power is connected to a seven speed automatic transmission dsg that's work really good now the trunk capacity 380 liters it's one of the biggest trunk in the class and if you fall down the seats you will have 1190 liters guys so incredible practical this new fabia with a lot of space there in the trunk 0 to 100 acceleration 9.6 seconds the maximum speed 205 kilometers also the fuel tank capacity 40 liters the turning circle turning radius 10.4 meters also the drag coefficient because they work a few things here and there to improve the drag coefficient we will talk about that when we go on the exterior it's 0.278 so very good drag coefficient for the size the shape Shape of the car the car come with independent McPherson suspension on the front on the rear we have treated twist beam suspension also the car normal come with 17 inch rims but on this model right here they change already the tires we have winter tires and we have 15 inch tires also I test drive it with 15 inch tires winter tires and that's why maybe suspension was really really good those are the most important technical data now let's start the review guys we will go outside inside and we will talk about every single features here so yeah let's do it guys all right guys so first of all let's start with the key this is the key it's very similar with the previous key the only difference is this new one it's a little bit lighter and also it has kind of a mat everywhere plastic and i like the the fact that it's a little bit smaller and it doesn't have that key right here that bother you and it's not so heavy as as before what you can do with the key of course lock and unlock the car pretty simple also you can unlock and lock uh, the trunk it doesn't come with automatic lift gate the good part is that the car if you come here to the handle you can lock the car by putting your finger here you can see also the car come with folding mirrors electric folding mirrors if you put your hands right here you can unlock the car super easy and when you open the door also the mirrors will unlock now let's go inside let's start the engine guys and let's turn on the lights let me show you the exterior design in my opinion a big improvement huge improvement from the previous Skoda Fabia I didn't like the model before the previous model was not so beautiful not my style to be honest in terms of exterior design but now it's a different story it's it looks like a Volkswagen Golf in terms of size it's just beautiful it's almost like a Scala I don't know what will be the reason from choosing a Scala or a Volkswagen Golf when you have this new Skoda Fabia that looks just 
just phenomenal in my opinion. Love this new hood right here. We have the Skoda logo in the middle. Then we have this new front grille that look very much the same as the new Skoda Enyaq. They take a lot of things from Skoda Enyaq to be honest. Even here in the front and even in the back I will show you later. So the grille it's very similar with the Skoda Enyaq even though it's not an electric car but it looks very similar. You have this chrome design right here and also we can order it in other colors. Then you have this grill design really interesting. Then you have some small air intakes right here and most of the air intakes to cool down the engine it's happening down here. So the air intake is down there and you can see it has also some pedals like other premium cars, more expensive cars that they will close and open depend on the temperature. If outside it's cold they will stay close like now and if it's hot, very hot, they will uh, open like this and then they will leave much more air to go there to cool down the engine. So that's really smart from, from Skoda to do and it's a premium thing in my opinion. So keep in mind this is something new and really interesting. Here in the front on the grill we have the radar. So behind this uh, area here is the radar for adaptive cruise control. Travel assist, this new travel assist from Volkswagen that work really, really cool. Emergency brake, all that safety features. Up here also is the camera with sensors for light and raining. The camera work together with the radar in the front. Also, uh, the camera right there can read the traffic speed limit. It's for lane assist and all that safety features. Going to the lights, one of my favorite part is this Skoda Crystal Lightning. This is the latest technology from Skoda and we have LED lights right here. Also the car, the base is the entry level version come with LED lights, but not as good as this one. This is kind of uh, only for style and uh, Monte Carlo and top end version. Uh, we have this Crystal uh, Lightning and also everything it's LED. Turning signals, the high bin, the low bin, everything LED lights the latest technology and they are super for the night. Now down here you have the fog lamps that also come on the style and upper uh, versions and you have normal bulb light here, normal halogen light, pretty simple, nothing crazy, nothing fancy. The cool part is that here in the grill you have these huge air intakes. As I said before when I was inside, Skoda really improved this aerodynamic of the car they try to add some elements that improve the aerodynamic and the consumption of the car. Other than that, very nice design here. Even though it's a black car, you cannot see it so well, but uh, the design, it's, it's much better. Anyway, let me go here because it's sunny and you can see better from the side. Now, I like those lines are much more sharper and aggressive. And also down here, I know you cannot see it so well on the black color, but they look much better. What they do uh, extra for the aerodynamic is that the mirrors are a little bit smaller right now and you can see the sharp edges also here, nice design LED light right here for the turning signals. You have quite not so big mirror but the visibility is quite good from the interior and the size is relatively good uh, for the car. Around the windows here we have some chrome design, something that I didn't see it until now. I can't say that it looks very very good but it's okay i think with other color they will fit a little bit better the handles you see it before lock and unlock very simple keyless entry is the same handles that volkswagen use it for a few years now on the down part right here i like the fact that skoda add this plastic to protect this area from rust from stones and stuff in time and that's a good thing but on the down part we don't have anything it's just the paint of the car. Big windows, I love that. So that means great visibility from the interior. We will go inside and I will show you the visibility from the interior. Then here on the right side, we have the tank and also we have this smart scratcher. I think you know it from Skoda. Pretty, pretty useful in the winter time. Again, something that I love about the car is this new roof spoiler. It looks crazy, crazy sporty, beautiful roof spoiler with this extended glossy plastic here. It looks really, really nice the way it's extend that uh, roof. Then here we have the brake LED lights on the upper side, tinted windows on the rear. Also here on the side we have tinted windows. I think you can see it from here. You guys, I forget to tell you that the car come with six sensors four for parking and those from the side are for blind spot technology and the blind spot technology it's inside the mirror here on the side as I would use it um, years before now also Skoda and Volkswagen start to use it there now from the back design it looks really good 
The new lights also very similar with Skoda Enyaq and I think even the roof spoiler up there it's somehow taken from Skoda Enyaq. I like it very much even the bumper down there look good. Uh, we have LED lights here on the back even the fog lamps the reverse light the tail lights and the blinkers the signals are LED lights so from this point of view it's perfect. I mean even the design the new design of the lights look really really good in my opinion. Down here you have LED lights and the reverse camera you can see it right there LED lights on the number plate Skoda writing here look really good we have Fabia on the left side and if we go down here we have six sensors again in the back uh, then some light reflectors and we have some kind of matte plastic down here no exhaust pipes everybody hide it these days for me I have to say that I like it more like that it's simple uh, and clean I should say and this is the exterior design guys I don't know if I miss something I hope not the only thing that I want to tell you is the rims are not original with style version. So those rims that you see right now are 15 inch rims. They are special for the winter. Uh, but if you buy the car, they will not come with those rims. They will come with original rims. And we have here winter tires. So that's why in the test drive, I said you have amazing quality on the suspension because also this rubber here help the suspension to have a better comfort. In the front, you have ventilated brake discs. And on the rear, we have drum brake discs, the same as uh, Volkswagen use. But usually Volkswagen use on Polo, only on the entry level version. The top version doesn't have the drum brakes, where this time Skoda on the Fabia, they chose to go to drum brakes. I'm not sure if even the Monte Carlo version will have drum brakes. We will have to see that. I'm really curious about that. This doesn't matter. They are very good as well. Now guys, the engine was on and you see, that the, the sound was pretty low. Anyway, now I have to stop the lights. And I want to show you also the engine bay. Let's go to the engine bay here in the front. Open this up. We have a manual lift gate in the front, guys. Also, you have this insulation up here. That's why probably the sound, it's so, it's so silent inside the car. I test drive it and I cannot hear so many noise. You have the air filter, the battery there. Anyway, this is it guys, it's very similar with the Volkswagen one, the same array, the same system, the same engine, everything is the same, only this fluid wiper is a little bit different, uh, it's much more smarter than on the other cars, you can put water there, liquid for, for the wipers much easier, anyway, this is it, the sound of the doors, uh, this sound okay, nothing special, it's just fine, I like all this glossy plastic here between the windows, look really nice. I think it was much nicer if this chrome was a black glossy, I don't know. I think in combination with this was much, much nicer. You can change it, I think, very easy. Now, open the trunk, manual lift gate in the trunk. You can open it very easy. Up here you have this, I don't know how to call it, you can pull it down just like that. You have this protection for the trunk that we will take it out in a second. This is the biggest trunk in this class, 380 liters. It's impressive. I mean, I know Skoda makes super practical cars, but they, they keep the tradition uh, forward. We have some plastic at the entrance, some kind of two centimeters deepness here. Then you have on the left side, some triangle, some storage space there, hooks in the corner, hooks up here. Then you have hook on the right side, also some storage space here. You have a normal bolt light here in the trunk. And check this out, this is really awesome. If you go under the floor, you will find another space, guys. And I think here it's like 15 to 20 centimeter, 15 to 20 centimeter. It's really, really deep. And then if you go down here again, you will have a big spare tire down there. Yes, and some storage space for your stuff. How cool is that? I mean, in terms of space, it's lovely. With a spare tire for you guys. I know most of you ask me about the spare tire. And now here is the answer. And also this is very smart. When you put this up, look at this. It will block there and it will stay up there, up like this because of these things here and this plastic here. This is really smart. I didn't see that on other cars. It's really intelligent things. So they bring some smart things in, inside the car and outside the car. And if I'm not wrong, let's see the umbrella is here. Yes, the car come with umbrella here in the door. That's nice. 
That's nice. A lot of cool features. Anyway, let me take this out. The great part is that you can take this out super easy from here. I think with only one hand I can take it out in just one second. The trunk entrance, it's huge. I mean, it's really, really big. As I expected before, it's like a golf. I mean, the golf size, like a Scala size. It's really, really big entrance. I love it. Because in this class, most of the car have the same array in terms of seats. You cannot fold the middle part for, for skis, for long items. You have to fold it like this, 40, 60. So yeah, that's something to keep in mind, guys, if you want to fold it down. You don't have a completely flat floor, but it's around 90% flat and you have actually a huge space. Uh, if you think about the class of the car, it's it's relatively huge. The space, it's more than perfect. So I don't think someone can complain about the space here in the new Skoda Fabia. It's really, really good. You can fit in a lot of stuff. And another thing, some of my favorite part on the car is that glass roof all over the roof. It's an amazing glass roof that you find it only in the premium, super premium cars all over the roof. Look gorgeous. I'm happy that Skoda bring it also on the Fabia not only on the other uh, models. The entrance in the car here, opening, it's quite good. You have a huge entrance here in the back. So great, great, great array. The practicality of the car, it's crazy. In terms of space, in terms of doors are big, super good. They think about practicality first time and then about the design and stuff like that. That's something that I appreciate very much on Skoda. Now you can see one more time the way it looks, the trunk there, it's, it's quite good also with the seat folding down. You have some storage space on the legs room here. You can see the transmission tunnel in the middle there. And also one more time from this area. It's relatively good. Anyway, let me put everything back and we will go inside the car. On the door right here, we have uh, two windows. One is fixed and one can be folded all the way down. Then going to the door design, the design is very nice. I like the design of the door, but but most of the door is made by plastic. Actually, all the door is made by plastic, to be honest. Everywhere it's plastic, but the trim, it's nicer. At least they try to make some nice trim here on the doors. You have the handles in chrome. Here you have kind of a fake leather here. First time I was thinking like, okay, here should be leather. But when you touch it, it's just a plastic, but very nice design. I mean, very smart. Then you have the window. A button right here then some storage space quite big storage space here and then you have this uh, speaker right here with a nice design I don't know if you can see it yes now you can see it good the entrance huge entrance in the car right here also you can see one more time that beautiful glass roof that I totally recommend you to go for it guys it's 650 francs uh, it's totally deserved the money. Around $600 is really deserved the money. And look at the space here, relatively good space here in the, in the car, uh, in the back. And we will go there and we will see how much space I have. Uh, I like the fact that you have stuff material behind the front seat. You have some storage space, actually two storage spaces. Very smart, very nice. Then in the middle, you have this nice design of the vents. Really, they try to make it different and nicer. And I appreciate that some kind of glossy plastic with chrome. I love it. Down here, I love the fact that they bring these two USB-C ports, very useful these days. And then you have this transmission tunnel that is quite big uh, in the middle. Now going to the seats, fabric material seats. I like the design. I like the quality of them. Uh, also, they have some nice trim in the middle here. You have side support. You have Isofix for child. You can install two child seats here without any problem. And overall, the design and the size of the seats are very good. Here in the middle, you don't have any armrest, nothing. No cup holders, no armrest. Keep in mind, that's better for the back of the passengers here in the back, that they will stay in the middle. And also down here, it's, it's quite flat and I like it. Let me go inside, actually. Let's see. How good I stay here. So going inside, close the door. Pretty noisy outside. Something that I noticed also when I did the test drive is the fact that it's very, very silent inside the car. It's really silent. They, they did a great job with the sound insulation. The visibility outside, because they extend this window on the door, you have a gorgeous visibility. I mean, in terms of visibility, it's perfect. Really, nothing to say. Uh, also great visibility over this glass roof. 
is just phenomenal. Love it, love it. Perfect visibility. The headspace, I'm 173 centimeters for info and I have plenty of space here on my head. Really good space. Uh, the quality on the seats, I stay somehow straight away, you know. I'm kind of a straight with my back. I think it's very healthy, the position. Not super comfy for us that we are used all to stay like this. And it's not so healthy, but the seats is somehow teach you to stay a little bit straighter away. And down here on the legs, the space is quite good. Four, five, six fingers. I can stretch my legs a little bit under the front seat. And this is also good. It's quite comfortable here. Nothing to say, handle, hooks, and you have here an LED light. Quite fancy, this LED light. The quality on the roof right here is very good. I love the way it feels. It's, it's quite, quite premium. Also, you have some hooks here. And overall, let me go in the middle. If you want to go in the middle, uh, you have to make the step there. Then you have four fingers, more than four fingers. And you can see one more time, how are the seats? This is my driving position. And this is, I think, a little bit forward. But always in my driving position, I put my seats a little bit backward. So that's something, maybe that's why it's less space here and here more. Uh, but anyway, you can make an idea yourself the space there. Anyway, going forward here in the middle, you have less space, but you still have four fingers. And the view, it's just, wow. I mean, the view, it's like very close to, to the window and you look like this and, oh my God, for long trips, it's phenomenal. I don't know if I can show you that, but you can imagine, you can image that in your head. Anyway, gorgeous. Uh, left, not so much. Right, yeah, pretty good. For the size of the car, it's pretty good. I think three people here, medium trips without any problem. The comfort in the middle, it's quite good. I have a taller position here and it's a little bit stiffer on my back and down here, but it's okay. I think I can get used with this beautiful glass roof. Really, I, I don't know, it feels really nice. Anyway, we have to go in the front. We will talk about dashboard, multimedia and the things in the front. And something that I noticed from, from the beginning when I get inside the car is this new dashboard design is super, super nice, super modern, futuristic. Love the design, love the lines and the new uh, vents, the way they design it on the side. It's just unique and nice and I love it. Anyway, let's go in the front, guys. Guys, here in the front, one big window, one piece is great visibility in the mirror. Here, this time, it's not like in the back. This time we have stuff material right here in this area. So keep in mind here it's stuff and soft material. Other than that, everywhere you will find plastic, but a beautiful design. The design of the door, it's super beautiful. The same trims here, nice trims, same handle, good quality handles, a little bit of holes here. So the design, it's super, super nice. Even this handle here, it's really interesting with some kind of gray. Then you have the buttons for windows, electric windows, electric adjustable mirrors, heated mirrors and folding mirrors electrically from here. Then huge storage space here. This is super, super practical. Then you have the speaker right here. And this is the entrance in the car, big entrance in the car. The seats are gorgeous. I drive the car. They are super nice as the glass roof. That's beautiful. Anyway, look at the seats, guys. Nice seats. They remind me a little bit of Audi seats a few years ago. Uh, very nice design, side support, side support. Very large, they are very large and bright and big. And you have a gorgeous uh, comfort here as on a bigger car. For example, you have lumbar support. You can adjust it from here manually. So it's quite simple to adjust it. We have normal pedals on this version, no aluminum pedals. And then we have some storage space here where you can put your things, quite practical. Then you have the lights controllers very typical and classic for Volkswagen group and then we go up we have something new and interesting I like it it's something new the quality is quite good as you touch it and you have some glossy plastic here really interesting you have Fabia logo here actually writing not logo then you have stuff material here in the middle you will see it with stitches you will see it also all over the dash on the upper side keep in mind you have plastic but they actually try to make a nice nice trim so until you touch it you don't know if it's soft or not first of all i was thinking okay it's soft material 100 percent yeah anyway good quality plastic i should say anyway let me go inside the car going inside close the door 
visibility around the windows was really good even though the, the mirrors are a little bit smaller in this model for the aerodynamic overall beautiful beautiful good view around the windows nothing to say about that also you can see one more time the seats in the back and then we go here in the middle you have this armrest that you cannot adjust it that will stay fixed here and it's stuff material you have some storage space with a 12 volt port there very useful and we go forward manual handbrake that's something that i wish was different why manual handbrake i'm so sad to see this here at least with this automatic transmission anyway the quality is good i mean the grip it's very nice you have leather here good quality then you have some storage space here by the way keep in mind that you can get this out and change it this is like this but you can get some cup holders uh, it's very smart so you can install here wherever you want you can buy it with your car uh, so you can take it out put it in wherever you want to to have there you can change it that's another smart thing here in the middle we have the transmission stick as i said it comes with this seven speed dsg automatic transmission also you can go in reverse drive um, you have the s mode i explain all that in the test drive so check out the video with the test drive then we have here the start engine button lock and unlock the parking sensors and the uh, parking assist button then we have here a big space where you can charge your phone wireless here I don't know if you can see it guys because of the light you can charge it wireless and you still have two USB-C ports there very useful love them super super useful now actually let me start the engine here's the button the engine start button right now I start the engine there is the blind spot technology by the way in the mirror start the engine because I want to show you the climatic system and I want to show you that it comes with physical button I love that and many people will love that it's so easy to change the things while you're driving it's super easy super convenient uh, and i think the future it's still physical button at least in a car where you have to pay attention to the road and skoda did it really well with this climatic system is dual zone climatic system that's something to keep in mind and i like it very much also heated seats you and the passenger anyway let me actually let me show you something if you press this menu button not only that you have those physical button but they are combined with uh, the controllers on the screen so you can control the screen very very easily from here the climatic system you can synchronize you can choose the air you can put it on manual you can put it on auto you can turn it off if you want to and also you can choose where you want to have it you can put it on low you can go to air care the car come with air care you can activate it and deactivate this really intelligent system and i like it and also the touch screen is very very responsive but all about that a little bit later then you have these vents right here that they feel relatively good quality as you touch it and also even this button here for the turning signals it feels good quality and it looks quite quite nice then in the middle here you have the stitches you have some stuff material here with the stitches you have this plastic very nice plastic with a little bit of holes here around the multimedia system then here as i said plastic but nice trim very very nice trim it looks really nice it's clean design you have great visibility you have some speakers here on the a pillar you have this space where you can put your uh, parking papers and then here you have a handle you have also a mirror here to see yourself no light up here but you have this mirror that's quite big and also the quality it feels quite good wherever you touch something here it feels good quality then you have the information button service button sos button you have led lights this area up here it looks the same as was golf volkswagen golf a few years ago same quality and in my opinion very good uh, the mirror it's quite good you can see it in your back there it's quite good the mirror and also it's a small mirror it's a good visibility in the back there because you have a big window the glow box it's also very big in my opinion for the size of the car it's relatively big the glow box and practical nice now guys here come my favorite part you can adjust the steering wheel up down left right super simple and to be honest I love this steering wheel it's one of my favorite steering wheel on the market today and I can't believe Skoda bring it on this Fabia lovely steering wheel the quality the grip it's phenomenal look at the holes look at the stitches 
is gorgeous. The steering wheel is one of the most important thing in a car. Good grip, good quality on the steering wheel. I love the, the design. You see it probably in my other video with Skoda. Uh, also, you have physical button where you can control different function. By the way, the car comes with heated steering wheel. You can adjust it from here. That's awesome to have this option in the car. Even though Tesla, for example, Model 3, didn't have this heated steering wheel until now and this is just is crazy uh, that you find it on Fabia you have voice command you have the different volume knob here for the for the media and then you have here the cruise control functions you can activate deactivate the cruise control function it's coming with this new travel assist from Volkswagen group that works really good and then from here you can control different function this button is also you can activate the lane assist, side assist, rear traffic alert and all that stuff. So it's very simple. Then here you have also the cruise control and then you can change and control different functions, different views right there on the cockpit that I will show you in a second. But overall the steering wheel, it's, it's lovely. Behind the steering wheel here you have the controller for the cruise control guys. Uh, the main controllers for the cruise control where you can set the speed, set the speed limit the same as on the Audi. It's very simple, you can get used with it very simple while you're driving a few days with the car. So overall, uh, this is the steering wheel. The cockpit, in my opinion, it's one of the best on the market these days. You can customize in so many ways. You have the navigation there if you want to see the navigation on the middle. And then you can see also the speed, the range of the car. You can see the speed in this way, in sport mode way, in a classic way. And you can have navigation in the middle. You can see the navigation all over the screen. You have so many information there. The car can read also the traffic speed limit the consumption so many things you can see in the middle there and if you don't want a navigation to have it in the middle you can change telephone vehicle status driving data assistance systems and you can have it in the middle i will show you i will demonstrate you for a second right now and you can see what i mean when you change the views right now you can see that in the middle is no more the navigation it's just this view right there so yeah, it's pretty simple. Pretty nice, pretty nice. I love it. Great resolution, great colors. Love the cockpit. And I can't believe it's on Fabia at this price. Anyway, going forward, uh, let's go to the multimedia. By the way, keep in mind that these multimedia come also only on the style version, I think, and Monte Carlo on the entry level version it comes with a smaller one. Uh, but this screen here, it's, it's really super good and super nice. It's a touch screen. It's very responsive. Every time you touch uh, a button or a function here in the screen, it works really, really fast. You have shortcut button on the side. You have menu button, home button, volume, radio here on the side. You have media and then you have the phone, navigation and the car. Super simple to go through all these menus. If we go, for example, let me go to the menu. First of all, you have radio. I think you already see it. I have a separate video with this multimedia system. So if you want to see it, check it out on my channel. It's already there. Then you have the telephone here. You can connect your telephone. You can connect your phone to Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. I also have a separate video about that. So check it out on my channel how to do that. Then you have the navigation and it's the navigation that Volkswagen use it on the latest cars as well. So if you don't like that navigation, but I tell you it's very good. Once you set the destination, it's, it's really good navigation. Even though it has a little bit, little bit, little bit of lag, um, it works really good. So every time you start the destination, you can see it really, really load super, super fast. And you can see it also on the cockpit. So very good navigation. So in my opinion, nothing to say about it. Uh, also, you have a lot of functions that you can change. 3D map, 2D map. It's, it's lovely. Anyway, let's stop the guidance. Going back here, if you don't like it, you use your Android Auto and Apple phone. Driver assistance systems here you have. You can activate the blind spot technology, the lane assist. You have a nice graphic here that show you all that safety features like blind spot, lane assist, emergency brake, cruise control, reading the traffic speed limit and all that stuff. You can see it also in this way if you don't like the graphic. And if we go forward, we have the media here where you can add some playlist and music. Smart link, guys, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, you can connect it super simple right here. You have all the infos and with your smartphone, 
you can connect it super super easy and you can have all that functions here check out the other video if you want to see how to do that and how it looks on this screen uh, vehicle here you have all the infos about the vehicle the consumption on the last kilometers uh, and all the information down here you can change it you can see the virtual cockpit you can change the, the views there driving infos and vehicle status if some errors or tire pressure and the car have an error you can see it here if you go to settings you go deep in settings you have the traction control you can turn it off and on the tire pressure the lights settings if you go to light settings for example you can change a lot of settings like um, travel mode right hand traffic convenience turn signal automatic headlights control in rain you can see how many options you have here really really interesting i didn't expect to have so much option here then you have the background light i'm not sure if the car have a background light i don't think so maybe it has here yes it has a background light i didn't know that look at this here inside you have an led light all over the dash wow here here as well yeah wow really cool really cool and you have the background light from here you can change the colors let me show you brightness and all white and you you have white and red and you have only two colors and you can see that red there i'm not sure if you can see it right now it's super sunny but anyway really interesting i didn't expect that I didn't know about that mirrors and wipers instrument cluster time date units you can change it from here from those settings anyway go to menu and then go to sound from sound you can change the equalizer the position of the sound the volume right here you can change the different functions then you have the settings tone menu menu button tone from here if you want to hear something when you touch the, the touch screen and yeah this is it really interesting and then you have another page here where you have the air conditioning and you can turn it on and off and then you have the menu the settings here you go to the main settings where you can change the language units date uh, keyboard system information reset to factories and all that stuff all that functions then you have the user the images you can add some images the shop and legal stuff and then you have the home button if you go to home this is the home screen i think you are familiar with this uh, view and this is it guys i guess that was the video look how nice graphic when you close the car anyway that was the video guys i hope you enjoyed it that was the review with the new uh, skoda fabia 2022 model i hope you get some useful information from it i hope it was useful for you guys uh, what can i say my rating for this uh, new fabia from uh, 1 to 10 will be 9.7 i really like the car i think it's a great rating i taking into consideration the price uh, the design the connectivity the multimedia the safety features the comfort features it's, it's a great car in my opinion they improve a lot I can believe there are some things here that are premium and if you didn't see the test drive check it out because the car it's really premium also when you when you drive it and the things here inside the car make me feel like I'm in a, an expensive car like in a premium car like I'm inside uh, I don't know these days you cannot make a difference too much between BMW, Mercedes, uh, Hyundai, uh, Volkswagen, Skoda. I mean, there are a few things here and there that are very similar. And uh, nowadays, even the, the the car brand that was uh, down in the, in the back in the class and in the rating, uh, now they are much better. And I don't know. I, I really really like what Skoda did with this uh, Fabia. I love the car. I have to say that there are super practical cars. That was the video guys. I hope you enjoy it. I will leave the link in the description to uh, Amag, to the car. If you want to see it, if you are around Switzerland here, check them out. Amag in solo, Turn, Skoda Amag. Tell them you see my video, you want a nice discount. They will give you for sure. Also guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, please like it, share it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see the test drive will come soon on the channel. Thank you very much for watching my videos. As always, don't forget to check out our website, sdadancar.com. There you find a lot of information about cars, videos and more. And also guys, 
that was all if you have question still have question ask me down below that was all guys stay safe and i see you soon in the next one bye guys